Hello everybody, my name is Jan Pavlovitz and I'm here with my product management colleague Jim Christian. Hello, hello Jim. And I'm proud to have uh, George Castle here from Bentley Systems. Today we are talking about PlantSight, our newest uh, software approach uh, for digital enablement of data as well um, of our portal or our asset reliability uh, uh, use cases um, and uh, Jim will show us a bit later or give us later a bit more insights where we are at the moment uh, and George we are we are looking forward extremely uh, uh, extremely passionate what what we can see now and what we what we can have for our customer right oh I, I first off thank you I, I'm glad to be here good to be here with both you and Jim and I think this is a very exciting thing because with plant site, well, we've had plant site for a while where we can gather the existing data and now we're talking about the important things of what you can do once you have that data once you yeah. capture that digital twin yeah I remember when we when we both talk about uh, this this environment of this dark data and, and our customers coming coming to us and ask you both what are you meaning with dark data what is this and so on and then and then we are we are bringing um, the, the, the bright and the light into our, our vision uh, and how we do this. Now it's very simply said, um, uh, whenever you have or start uh, uh, moving data together, we, we have this environment which is, is, is untapped and hidden and nobody can do this. And what we're doing with, uh, with PlantSight is that we really bring, uh, bring it in the portal, uh, bring it all together, 1D, 2D, 3D data, and make it available. So this availability in the cloud is the foundation of what we are seeing now on, or where Jim, I think, is setting on on this foundation and, and show us what we can do with this foundation. Yeah, yeah, very much so. There's, there's an awful lot you can do with the data. The, the interesting thing here is if you bring together this operational data with the maintenance data, with the engineering data, and all these different classes of data, you can find some things out that you couldn't find before. Uh, the, for example, you can use the operational data to provide insights into your maintenance programs and, and look for root causes of failure and how you've operated. Uh, as we see in this example here, we've got a turbine with an all kinds of different information available. We have access to the process data. We have access to the maintenance data. We can go to the engineering environment with PlantSite. Here we can see the failure modes. We can go in um, and start doing some actual engineering work when we see something. That's right, and it's it's interesting you're highlighting the failure modes because that's really where you can capture that knowledge of the mm -hmm. expert that you have on this equipment and make that available. Um, yeah. where, wherever wherever this piece of equipment is is fitted into production and used. And these large, uh, expensive assets, turbines, compressors, drives, uh, large pumps, they're around the world. Most of our customers are global companies, uh, and they have they may have an expert in engineering headquarters, and they may have uh, uh, an expensive asset like a turbine out into an oil field in West Texas, or in an oil field in Asia, or in an offshore platform. Could you show us also some more some more details? So do we do I have also a detailed view now? Well, we can go in. We have some analytics available to us. We have some PNIDs. Uh, we have a parts inventory that we can pull in. We could go back to our, our, our environment, our engineering environment, and switch from a, a visualization role into an engineering role. That's actually, I think, one of the very interesting things about PlantSite is your ability to take on the role that you need to take on. If I'm authorized as a user to see things, that's good. If I'm authorized as an engineer to go in and make engineering changes to do some root cause analysis and maybe recommend things. We've talked to, for example, senior advisors who are setting policies for maintenance programs. Um, and it's very helpful for them to go be able to analyze the history, um, to dig into the root causes, and then they can set a company-wide policy of a better way to operate equipment. That's, that's very well received. I see here really the, the, the big value what we have to, to bring the Bentley asset reliability part uh, into our approach in plant side that looks really promising for me. Well, and if, and if you think about historically before a solution like this existed, these these bits of information, this this maintenance information, these failure modes, the engineering design conditions, the set points, all that, were all in different different data sets. 
And by pulling them together now, you can, as you pointed out earlier, Jim, you can start to see things now with the, the data together that you've never been able to see before. And you can cross-reference things. Uh, you can look at the operator notes. You can see the photos from inspections. You can see the drawings from when the equipment was originally built. Uh, some of our customers operate facilities that are 100 years old, and they may have only scanned paper documents. Perfect example of dark data. Uh, that, oh, yeah. That, oh, yeah. Uh, and, of course, we can. We have some technology where we can do some AI work. Would you say that is really something what is the answer of the question when customer talks about uh, prescripting maintenance procedures, so really uh, doing active maintenance, is this the answer? Well, yes, what we've seen historically from customers that have deployed the reliability solution is they're really moving from a, a time-based maintenance schedule to mm -hmm. a condition-based maintenance schedule. And, and, and studies have proven over and over that in many cases, errors are introduced through the maintenance activity. So every time you perform a maintenance activity, you have the possibility for an error. Mm -hmm. So if you can really narrow down the, 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 the maintenance activities to those that need to be done, the right activity at the right time against the right equipment, minimize the maintenance activities, you can minimize the failures. That is really the, the, the holistic part of what we call it the digital twin. So we have, we have the operational data, we have the engineering data, we have Everything, everything there. We have a bit pattern recognition in this case is available. So one other point that I think we should make that hasn't really come out yet is, you know, there's a lot of interest in the marketplace today around IoT, Industry 4.0, and that allows you to quickly react to conditions as the sensors go into alarm. But with our solution, with the plant site solution, we're getting ahead of that. We're giving you the tools and the insight into the condition and operating condition of the asset to get in before a functional failure occurs mm -hmm. and, an, and an unplanned downtime. Yeah, good, yeah. Point. Good, good point, good point. And you're right, and I'm, I'm, honestly, I would love to see and hear what our customers think about that, that solution. So, gentlemen, thank you very much. Well, the Siemens Oil & Gas, we're actually undergoing a digital transformation. And there's actually two dimensions to digital transformation. There's first the, the internal change, which is how we uh, design and deliver our projects. And there's the external, how we engage with our customers. On the internal side, it starts right at the beginning, right in the, uh, the concept and, and the design phase. And we often refer to this as the born digital project. So you start right in the beginning when you're doing your proposals, you're using your tools to design the selection of a compressor. You're doing the, the uh, configuration of the package. And while you're doing that in the proposal stage, you're generating your PNIDs. We use Comos for our PNIDs. And that allows us to actually build what we bid. We, uh, when you do your, your PNID design in the proposal phase, that is the same PNID that you're actually going to be delivering the project. So you're eliminating re-engineering of your your PNIDs. We move into our um, build phase where we build our equipment. From our digital twin, we're actually doing all of our fabrication drawings from the 3D models that we've created in NX. That allows us to drastically reduce cycle time. We can produce customer documentation extremely quickly on the project. And when we have modules that we build, we have a large fabrication yard in Bataan, then we continue the concept of the digital twin and we use uh, a tool from Bentley Systems, Constructsim, which allows us to do work package management in the yard and actually have much better control of the construction activities. In oil and gas, XHQ is predominantly known for operational intelligence and we see it in a number of our clients. So, so we're very excited to see the next generation of joint offering from Siemens and Bentley Systems, which will be PlantSight, which will incorporate both operational intelligence as well as the asset reliability. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.